Good morning everyone, it's Yvonne here from the Aussie Goddess to do your What's Cracking reading. Um, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. If you are interested in a personal reading with me, life coaching, <laughs> classes, whatever, I would say whip over to the Aussie Goddess page. Everything is on my Facebook page if you want to keep up with what's going on, when, where. Um, the G's Gang starts back up again this Saturday. And then I think the next Facebook Live might be early in February. But go and check out all those dates and times. I want to say thank you, not just for subscribing to my channel, but for all of your beautiful messages yesterday for my birthday. It was probably the most incredible day that I've experienced in a really long time. I went out to lunch with a beautiful friend, hello to you, and had the most incredible lunch and um, then went out with, for dinner with my bestie. Um, and in between all that, I opened gifts. I think I've probably got more gifts than I've got in a long time too. So it was just a stunning day. In between all this, one of my very favourite people sent through the Wizard's Tarot for me. I think it's called the Wizard's Tarot. Yeah, the Wizard's Tarot. So we're going to use it for our reading today. I will be on a live later to do a super chat. My intention is to get on at 12 o'clock Australian Eastern Daylight Time. But <laughs> I have a busy morning getting mothers and babies off for checks with the doctors. So um, I'm hoping to be on time. Um, I will be live on Instagram on Friday. And there are lots of other things coming up, lots of things in the making at the moment. I'm starting to look at what to do for this year. So uh, watch this space. Um, but it's all very interesting. All right. Let's get into your read. Now, I may have to look at the cards now because I don't know these cards very well. So we'll get to know them. I think they're absolutely stunning. So we have the Five of Wands coming out. Now, the Five of Wands is a card that talks of conflict. And it can sometimes be conflict between you and other people. But it's not, it's not fighting and arguing. It's generally sort of that bickering that goes on between people. But most of the time for me as a reader, this comes up about internal conflict you know when you're stuck at a crossroads or you know you're trying to make your mind up what direction to go in for me this is very much that energy the stop start energy you know should I call them should I go there should I buy this and that conflict <laughs> and that's what it always comes up for me all right so we have the eight of swords so some of you are in a bit of a bind as to whether to move forward on something here getting that very very strongly for you isn't this beautiful look at that so there's very much this energy of is this the, is this something i can move forward on um this going around in your head trying to work out whether this is right or best for you but it's definitely that energy of being stuck in your head space now Often this is sort of what we're doing to ourselves. It's not something that is a direct result of something outside of ourselves. What we're doing here is we're overthinking something, trying to come to some sort of conclusion or decision on whether we should move forward on something or not. But whatever it is, it's got you in this bind here. All right, so we have the world card coming through oh, with the Ten of Cups. Um, aren't they stunning? So there is some sort of cycle that needs to be finished out here. And it is bringing the Ten of Cups in. So I'm feeling very strongly here that there is some sort of healing that has been done. You've been through some sort of healing or some sort of energy here that needs to be completed. And it's taking that very last decision here for you to understand that this is the end of a cycle. 
Now I'm strongly getting for some of you here, this is some sort of addiction. Now it could be addiction to overthinking. It could be an, an addiction to indecision. Maybe somehow or another you get stuck in some energy sometimes of making decisions or decision making. So it feels more like a procrastination thing here. But I feel like it's bigger than that. I feel like this decision is taking you out of some sort of cycle you've been in. And it could be that you are reaching the end of some sort of, maybe it's a decision that's taking you out of codependency or out of something that you've been doing for a very long time. But this time you're realizing that you're doing it. It's very obvious to you. All right, so we have the Five of Swords coming out. That's really cool. Okay. So this Five of Swords looks a little different to the traditional one. <laughs> um, the Five of Swords is the, the card of the Pyric or Pyric victory. It's the energy of walking away from conflict not necessarily feeling fabulous about it, but knowing that you've done the right thing. Sometimes it can be seen as being self-focused, self-interest um, or selfishness. But I feel like in this particular situation, whatever you're doing here is not really a bad thing at all. You're closing something out here that needed to be closed out. You're realizing something that you needed to walk away from. That's beautiful energy. It's a big lesson being closed out here. A very big lesson. Um, and I feel like it's been a long time coming, but maybe you've only just had that sort of moment of... Uh, <laughs> definitely. All right, so we have here the Judgment card. I love this. What a beautiful reading. Whoever I'm reading for out there, I, I'm just feeling like you are so, you are so thrilled here to un finally understand something you've been doing for a long time, um, that you've finally sort of seen for what it is here. The Judgment card is here, and the Judgment card is about rebirth. It's about you finally getting it. You finally understanding what you've been doing. You may have been cycling in this energy with this Eight of Swords. But this time, this time, there's an awakening with it. There's that sudden, I can feel it, that sudden bolt of, wow, I see what I've been doing now. Because you're done with the judgment card. This is death, rebirth. All right, and we have the Emperor coming through here with the Ace of Cups. I feel very strongly today that we are talking about someone coming into some sort of realization of their own personal power. I don't feel this is another person. I feel like you finally looks a little bit sort of laid back, doesn't he? A bit confident. Um, but there's this real sense of self-love here. And that's what I feel like is coming through here. This real sense of finally seeing your own value, especially with the Emperor here. And allowing something to go, just gracefully letting something go. Knowing it was the best thing you could do. All right, so we have here, that's an easy one, isn't it, hanged man? <laughs> I feel like you're going to do a little bit of healing after this event. Okay, three of pentacles. Yeah, you're self-investing here with the seven of cups. Oh, I want to say somebody has really seen through some sort of illusion that they've kept themselves trapped in. There is a really big wake-up call here. Be kind to yourselves. Be really kind to yourselves because this is going to come like a bolt out of... I'm surprised the tower isn't here. This is pure tower energy here. This is a final realization of how much your value is. Realizing your personal power. This is a complete flip here. Seeing through some sort of illusion that you've been doing something for a really long time a certain way. And not putting yourself first. But there's healing in this hanged man. 
There's a healing energy. So I feel whatever this is, is going to send you into a lot of either investigation or research. It, it's sending you into this energy of needing to really dig deep or do a deep dive, as I say. Um, because this is quite, it's quite huge for you here. And I feel like it will need healing. All right, so we have the Three of Swords coming through. I've got to say that's a little bit nicer than what we normally see, but see this bolt? So maybe for some of you here, you may be sort of pushed into finishing off a relationship, concluding something here. Um, but there is definitely, and this is the bolt I was just talking about, for some of you, it will lead to hurt and, heart, and heartbreak. Um, but it's necessary because you've realized, I feel like for some of you, this may be realizing a pattern of codependency, maybe finally understanding how that takes place in your life. For others of you, you may always get into relationships with similar people, maybe people that are emotionally unavailable, perhaps people who are codependent on others. Something here is saying to me, it's going to hurt to do this. But there is the, the outcome, the results lead to some sort of rebirth for you because they're cracking you open for self-love here. All right, two of swords coming through. So definitely that's beautiful. Some sort of decision you have to make here. It'd be good if you could do that every time you made a decision. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Just hold on a moment. I've got to decide. Ah, <laughs> oh, too funny. All right, and we have the Six of Cups at the end here. So this is really strongly saying to me, you've been in some sort of habit or way of doing things, quite possibly from a very young child. This is social conditioning here. So there's very much this energy of maybe not really loving yourself the way you should have done. Maybe you've put somebody else's needs always before your own. Whatever this is for you, it is a really big epiphany moment <laughs> all right so we have here the five of wands this is conflict this is going round and round in your head until you get yourself into some sort of bind over something maybe you're making a decision to let something go maybe you finally realize that you're getting yourself into these sort of situations without actually really knowing it maybe you've ended up in another really toxic friendship um, or toxic workplace but something is definitely closing out here because we have the card of rebirth what I want to say to you is this is what you have in front of you so whatever you're finishing off whatever you're doing here look closing a, a negative cycle closing some sort of negative cycle here well wow, I'm just loving these cards oh wow look at the hermit I'm totally in love with them to the person who sent them to me. There is a very, very strong feeling here that you are going to need to do some healing from this. Because it's it's not just recognizing that you've been doing something in a very, well, a hurtful way to yourself, really. And you may have been doing this for a very long time. Because it looks quite painful to me here. But this is about like understanding your personal boundaries, self-love, self-care. Whatever you're doing here, you're doing it at the detriment to your own being. I just want to put a couple of cards on the six of cups. All right, yeah, there's the devil. I'm not even going to do any more. This is definitely, like I said, sort of forming toxic connections codependency maybe understanding the role of your ego here something here because the devil card is coming through so i feel that this is what you're finally understanding it's something that's been formed in childhood or in your younger years so you may have always for example put everybody else's needs above your own you may have been taught to do that as a very young child but you're starting to understand that you're still doing this at your own detriment and I hear people doing this all the time and saying this all the time. Oh, I'm a giver. I like to give. Actually, not healthy. <laughs> so this is a time to review. 
Being giving to other people is fine. It's a good thing. But giving always at the expense of yourself and not expecting anything in return, very unhealthy. And I hear people doing that all the time and it breaks my heart because I think people think that's what makes them feel good. But it's just that they've got used to doing that. Whatever this is for you, you're about to say, see you later. And start to understand that it's okay to expect something in return whether that's gratitude, whether that's love, whether that's being treated in, a, in the right way, whether it's being respected. All right, we'll read a card from the Wisdom of the Oracle. Um, for those of you who I offered decks to, they are, I am getting there. <laughs> I sort of forgot this week that it was my birthday and I did want to take a day off. I did do some readings yesterday, but... I wanted to take the day off and forgot about that. So I'm a day behind on everything this week. And I know you'll understand. All right. Oh, there we go. The fates. Beautiful. Let's see what the advice is from here. Wow, it's really warm this morning. I didn't expect it to be so warm. This is about fate, karma, Acceptance, there are things you cannot change and knowing what those things are. The serenity prayer sums up the meaning of this card. God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. There are things in life you will never have control over. The conditions brought on by the evolution of the collective, by nature and by your past experiences may be fated preordained by spirit for a greater purpose you cannot understand in this lifetime. It may not be in your cards to understand why certain events occurred, but you can accept the mystery and work with what those events and your current circumstances have to teach you. This is the wisdom contained in the serenity prayer. So this is something, and I do hear people saying sometimes, well, that's my personality. Well, believe me, you can change anything about yourself that you want to anything it's very possible and there are some great people on youtube who will teach you how to do that and if you're unsure flip me an email and i'll tell you who to watch but you can change things once you become aware once you wake up to what you're doing a certain way you can let go of it but the awareness is half the healing as i always say all right i will leave you with that have a wonderful day